Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My next guest tonight is an actor you know from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, The Goonies, and his Academy Award nominated performance in Everything Everywhere All at Once. Okay, sir, that's enough. Welcome to The Late Show, Ki Hui Kwan! Have a seat. There you go. Ha happy uh, Valentine's Day! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's lovely to meet. Lovely to meet. Stephen, I got to tell you this story. Okay. Uh, we early January, we of attended year. of this year. We attended an event called New York Film Critics Circle Awards. Oh, they right. I gave a word to Kate Blanchett. Yeah. Yes, yes. And uh, I didn't know you were going to be there. I saw you. I freaked out. And then I was going to do what I normally do at these events, which is run up to you, tell you I love you, and ask for a selfie. Yes. But then, I got pulled away for just a few seconds. I turned around and you were gone. I was so disappointed. Little did I know, a few weeks later, I'm on the Stephen Colbert show. Well, thank you. This is nice, sir, anyway. We have more time. This, this we is, have more time to talk th now. This is much better, and, yes. and as they say, good things come to people who wait. That's and, exactly uh, yeah. right. Well, speaking of people who wait, I, 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 this is this this story of this movie and you in this movie and, and what's happening for you right now is so extraordinary. You, you've already gotten re recognition of Best Supporting Actor, a Golden Globe, nominated for uh, an Oscar for an Academy Award. You finished shooting this in March, 2020, which is the last time anybody was shooting anything for for a couple of years right. because the the the, co the COVID hits then, and then it doesn't come out until two years later. What did what did you do? Because you had to know you were sitting on something special at that point. Because you would you would you would. I, I didn't know, and uh, and I was at home like everybody else, trying to stay safe, and I was auditioning, left and right, but sending self tapes. Oh. And what was interesting was, I could not get a single job, not not one callback. Nobody wanted me. Uh, and, uh, so you've just finished. I, I you don't finished. know this, but you've just finished your Golden Globe and Academy and nom Grammy Award nominated role, <laughs> and you can't get arrested in Hollywood at this point. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, I, I mean, I was, and then in fact, I was so worried because I was experiencing everything I experienced as a kid when I was, you know, when I was auditioning, and and you know, I, I couldn't, I couldn't get a job. That's why I stepped away. After Indiana Jones, after the Goonies, and and, and what, well, when you work with Steven Spielberg and Harrison Ford and George Lucas. You can't go anywhere but downhill from there. And, and that's exactly what happened. <laughs> is, it, is it true that you and... I, I got a picture here. Have you and Spielberg kept in touch over the years? Uh, well, first of all, he's a sweet man. I love him so much. Uh, he sends me a Christmas present every single year for the last 38 years. Wow. And here you are together at the Golden Globes, I believe. At the Golden Globes, yeah. That's fantastic. By the way... You guys didn't see this on television. When after my speech, uh, I at just as I was walking off stage, I looked at him, and he gave me a standing ovation. Steven Spielberg gave me a standing ovation. It was, it was incredible. Absolutely it was incredible. Lovely. Yeah. Absolutely lovely. Yeah. Also, I understand. So here, here you are, 38 years ago. 
30 years ago. There you are with Harrison Ford, right yeah. there. There you are. But, and then please tell me how this next photograph came about, because I got an, I've got another one right here, but uh, you tell the story about the next time you saw him, if you don't mind. Well, I, ha I haven't seen Harrison Ford in 38 years. So I was scheduled to attend an event called D23 for mm -hmm. Disney. Yep. And, uh, and I was told that Harrison Ford was going to be there. And I was in the green room, and there were so many big stars, big filmmakers, big producers there. The room was just crowded with, with, with people. And I was looking around the room, trying to see if I can find him. Yeah. Um, and every single one of us are assigned with an assistant to help us maneuver yeah. the event. And, uh, and my assistant came running up to me and says, Harrison Ford is just right outside the green room. And, uh, and I got really nervous. My heart was pounding. And, uh, and he says, do you want to go see him? And I said, of course I want to go see him. Mm -hmm. So I walked out, and sure enough, 15 feet away, I saw him talking to Phoebe Waller-Bridge, who is starring with him in Indy 5. Yeah. Uh, and as I get closer, he turns to me, and he takes one look at me, and all of a sudden, he has that classic Harrison Ford grumpy look, like this. <laughs> and he raises his finger, like then points it at me. He says, and I got really scared because I thought he, you know, he's thinking I'm a fan. He's gonna say, don't you get near me, right? But instead, he says, are you short round? And immediately I was transported back to 1984 when I was a little kid looking up to him. And I said, yes, Indy. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and, and, and he says, And he says, he says, come here, come here. Pulls me in, gave me the biggest, the warmest hug, uh, and we chatted for a little bit. And, and that was the picture that we took. Well, uh, now you don't have to worry as much about sending in the self-tapes from home for the audition, because I understand you are now joining the Marvel Universe because you're going to be in season two of, of Loki. <laughs> Excited about the future? A little bit, a little easier. Well, you know, you know. I mean, I mean, honestly, things are so different for me now than they were uh, back then, and uh, I, I'm, I'm really blessed, and I, I feel very, very grateful. And honestly, you know, ever since I, I, I got back into acting, uh, this has been such an emotional journey. Uh, I, you know, I, I've cried so much where my wife is so sick of me crying. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, yeah, I, I'm, I'm so grateful that, you know, everybody, I, I thought everybody had, for, had forgotten about me. Uh, but since the movie came out, you know, there's been so much positivity and so much kindness. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Steve. Oh, my God, Love this is incredible. Have you on. Yeah. Everything, everywhere, all at once is in theaters and streaming on Showtime. Keith,